Guys, the first time we did this, we ended up with the whole goblin era. It's time to do it again. Let's get into Reddit's, oh, come on. Don't you hate when you're, when all your friends message you? <laughs> Don't you hate when you have a ton of people that want to kind of get a hold of you and interact with you and kind of like, and you know, express their admiration for you? It really stinks. It's time to get into Reddit's deepest, darkest confessions. Here we go, folks. My husband talks like a pirate when we have sex and it's driving me insane. Off to a good start. Off to a good start! He started doing this about a year ago and won't stop. Zayd, why don't we get some piratey music going here? Can you can you get something piratey? Maybe pirate some music online. How about that? Download something illegally. It's so annoying and I've told him I don't think it's funny or sexy, but he called me a landlubber and a scurvy dog, then threatened to plunder my booty. I mean, that's just banter. That's just straight up good banter. That's what that is. You know, he's trying to throw your guard off a little bit, get you to relax, so that he can clean the poop deck. You know what I'm saying? I told him I was serious and he said he'd try to stop, but that was several months ago and it's like he can't stop and it's some kind of compulsion. Otherwise our sex life is great, but just the other night when I took off my underwear and spread my legs, he cried out, There she blows! Ready to harpoon lads! Which I definitely didn't appreciate. The whale comparison. I am not overweight. <laughs> And when he finished, he yelled out, "Yar!" like a pirate, and I just rolled my eyes. I really hope this is real. I truly do. This is one of those incredibly legendary posts, like the Tony Pizza one. None of us are gonna agree with you, because this is funny. And I, the thing is, if this is real, that does really suck. You should probably break up with him. But to the rest of us, it's hilarious. And I hope that he never stops doing it. At this point, I don't think he can help it. And it might be a kink of his or something. So I'm trying to just go along with it and be supportive, even though it's very weird. This is literally the most obnoxious thing my husband does. So I'm luckier than a lot of women, I guess. Husband. I didn't realize it was your husband. So yeah, you're, you're, that's for life. Yar, yar, matey. Ready the harpoon. <laughs> that's fucking good. That's just good. That's funny. Ready the harpoon, lads. Scurvy dog. Fuck. Scurvy dog would be a sick band name. Landlubber. <laughs> what else do we got? Let's look up some pirate terms. I mean, there's a lot of parallels between sex talk and pirate talk. Shiver me timbers, you know? I don't know, like having an orgasm, they're shaking a little bit. Shiver me timbers! Run a shot across the bow? Like, run a shot across the bow? Where should I finish? Oh, run a shot across the bow! It's time to walk the plank? I mean, come on! There's so many parallels! I'm hard as a plank right now. <laughs> You trying to walk that shit or what? You better be careful because you might get soaking wet. Ugh, sorry for saying that. Uh, honestly, I think the dude is kind of ahead of his time a little bit. He's an innovator, honestly. If I'm being honest, you're, you're married to an innovator. You should be proud. Are you climaxing yet, me hearty? Have you talked to him about goblin mode yet? <laughs> Whoa, full circle, holy shit. Yar, I'll be having that. Yar. Be having thy booty? At least he doesn't call you Tony Pizza. I mean, am I on point with this? Did I not just drop that reference five minutes ago? I'm fucking Reddit as hell. I am Reddit as tits. Do anal and then tell me he has to clean the poop dick. I just said poop dick. Did I not say poop dick? Oh fuck, I shouldn't have moved back. Now you can see how trash my fit is. <laughs> Uh, nope. The pants are not working with the hoodie. I know that. I know that. I wish I didn't get fired up there and walk away from the camera. God damn it. All right. So we're just going to assume that post is true and real and it's amazing. Nice work. 15 years ago, I pulled a great prank and only I know the truth. 15 years ago, I started talking only like a pirate when I had sex with my wife. <laughs> yeah, matey. No, it's not that. I had one of those little speakers that makes funny fart sounds and I stuck it in the cushions of my mom's couch. I waited until my mom and sister were sitting on the couch and I pushed the remote to it. Horrible sentence. Come on, learn how to write. A long, loud, muffled fart. Everyone in the room was shocked. My mom yelled at my sister, who naturally got defensive and refuted the accusation. My sister blamed my mom. It was a scene. The fart sounded so real because of the cushions muffling it. Every once in a while, I pour salt on this old wound. If I'm with my sister, I'll say, can't believe you got framed by mom for that fart. She gets annoyed remembering the incident. I'll be with my mom and say, the audacity of your daughter to pull that and then blame you. My mom gets fired up. You're a horrible person. <laughs> I mean, it's funny to do this, but to let it simmer for 15 years and use it to like slowly erode their relationship is kind of fucked up. Once during the holidays, we were all watching TV and I excused myself. When I came back, I said I needed to fart, but wasn't a savage, so I left the room. This starts up the argument all over again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I plan on keeping this going as long as possible. It's been 15 years now and it still gets a heated response and saltiness from them both. You, What you have to do is, oh my God, a 
I'm literally about to say what the first comment said. Why am I so Reddit today? What is with this? I hate that I'm so Reddit. Wait until you're on your deathbed and then tell your sister the truth because if you do it any sooner, one or both of them will kill you anyway. It has to be your la your like dying words, you know? Like you're like, oh, oh, like you, you know, you know, I'm trying to think of like a future way that people are gonna die. <laughs> disease. So you're sitting there about to die and they're like, it's okay. We're here. I have something to admit. And then you die. And forever, they'll never ever know. You know what you should do? You should, on your deathbed, you're lying there, your family surrounding you. Your mom, I guess, has passed since then, so it's just, you know, your sister, maybe her husband, some, your niece and nephew in the room, you know, some random stragglers, you know, some fringe people hanging out too, not really sure if they should be in the front, kind of holding your hand, or if they should just kind of stick to the back, because they're not immediate family. So you got a room full of people there, and you're like, it's okay, we're here, we're here. I have something, I need to, we're listening, what is it, what is it? And then from the back corner of the room, and everyone's like, and they all start looking at each other. Little did they know you planted a machine in the corner and you, you have a little remote and you have just enough strength to press that button one last time. You go towards the light. The last thing you see and hear is them all looking at each other like, how dare you? I can't believe you do something like that. People are looking at the fringe people because they're in the back and they're like, I knew I shouldn't have brought you here. And they're like, I didn't want to be here. I, why am I here? I don't know this guy. I see him like once a year. Why am I here? It doesn't mean you should fart in the middle of someone dying. And they're like, I didn't fart. And everyone's like, I didn't do it. I didn't fucking fart. And you can, you can just pass into the next life just peacefully knowing that you reignited your prank. Wow. Beautiful. Someone should make that a short film, honestly. Tell me that it's not genius what I just spat there. Wow. I've been pretending to be dumb at work since I got hired. For context, I used to manage a cafe for years. There were people we would hire and they would be good at their job, but I wouldn't rely on them for major things. When I quit there, I thought, why can't I just be a little dumber and work with less integrity? And so I did exactly that. I've been slightly late almost every day. I keep forgetting things that are happening in the week. I ask how to do the same simple things over and over. Nobody asks me to do any extra stuff. And I believe that's because they think I am dumb. It's been fantastic. I love it. At the cafe I used to work, I always get, we're so happy to have on our team. You're a great asset and never got a bonus or a substantial raise. At my new job, I'm making more than ever and I'm doing 25% of the work I used to do. Pretend to be done, folks. It's great. I mean, listen, I, I, I've i done this sort of thing too. Sort of. I don't know. I feel like I've always, I always busted my ass at my jobs, but I would make, I would set boundaries. I'd be like, I'm not like day one. Day one, they, all the, my team would be like, we're going for lunch. You want to go for lunch? And I'd be like, no, that's my time. I don't have to be around you guys. I'm not like paid to be around you guys at lunch. So I don't want to, not, no, nothing, nothing against them, but they're co-workers, they're not my friends. So I'd be like, no. And then they'd know after that, like, this guy's not coming to lunch with us. You know, so I would do shit like that. And then they'd know they're this kind of like weird separation. So they'd give me work, but they wouldn't like try to give me too much because they're like, we're not chums, you know, we're not palling it up. They know there's a line. So I, I kind of get it, but I don't think I would ever act dumb. I mean, you do what makes you happy, I guess, you know? power to you. When you're too good at your job, they'll just keep moving the goalposts and dump more and more work on you and treat you like shit if you can't keep up even though you're doing three times the work as everyone else. If that happens, I think you'd have to leave the company because if they're not giving you a promotion, when you get more responsibility, you're supposed to be paid more for that responsibility. And so if that's not happening, then you just got to leave and find another company that does do that. And I get it. It's hard. I mean, maybe a lot of bosses are shitty, I guess. But yeah, I feel like in order to get ahead, you kind of have to bust your ass. I don't know. Pooped my pants and caused the whole office to shut down. My stomach went from being a bit upset to 911 bathroom emergency within the span of two minutes. I didn't make it entirely to the office toilet, sadly. Without going into details, I ended up trying to flush my underwear and socks down the- And socks? Wow, so that shit went all the way down your legs. Holy hell. Socks down the toilet to try to hide the evidence and save myself some embarrassment. That proved to be a terrible idea and immediately caused the toilet to clog. In the panic, I flushed it more and caused it to flood. <laughs> I got the hell out of there and <laughs> I love this. Just getting like, you know, from bad to worse, just in five seconds, just consistently being like, I wish I didn't do that and then try to fix it and it gets even worse. I got the hell out of there and just went back to my desk pretending nothing happened. 30 minutes later, we get an email that we are to work from home for the rest of the day and that the men's washroom will be closed pending maintenance. To summarize, I shit my pants at work, flooded the bathroom badly and shut down the office for a day. See, that is how you get out of work, right there. Shit your pants.
Don't pretend to be dumb. Go all the way. Shit your fucking pants. This guy is doing it right. In fact, what I was just talking about with the lunch thing, I wish that back then I didn't just say no, I don't want to go to lunch. I wish when they asked me that, I shit my pants. Direct, like looking them in the eye. I was like, I can't. I just shit my pants. Can't go to lunch right now. I got poop in my pants. I'm gonna go to lunch smelling like human feces. Like I have it running down my leg and I'm just gonna go to lunch with you guys. No, I just shit my pants. What a ridiculous request. Who would go to lunch with diarrhea running down into their socks? Are you playing dumb? Oh, I see what you're doing. I read a Reddit, I read a fucking Reddit post about this. You're playing dumb, aren't you? You're acting a little dumb to get out of work. Oh, come to lunch, come to lunch. Dude, I have shit in my pants. <laughs> like, the fuck is wrong with this guy? That's what I should have done. This guy's got it down. By the way, culture, I think, at a company is very important. So it is probably good to go to lunch with your coworkers because you should try to find a company where you kind of mesh with them. There's a, you know, culture at company. I, mean, I don't know, fucking know what I'm saying. I hooked up with the girl I've wanted to be with for years, but I came when she put a condom on me and she hasn't talked to me in almost two days. I hate my life. Oh my God. Oh, I'm feeling some secondhand pain from this one. We had been friends for years, but she was always in a relationship. She and her boyfriend broke up a month ago. It was rough. So even though I had feelings for her, I held back and let her grieve the relationship and process. She came to my place to watch a movie the other night and I made margaritas. We each had a few. Then we had the moment and she kissed me. I kissed her back and we started making out. Then heavy petting. I was so happy. I was literally almost in tears. Oh, and the clothes came off and she told me to get a condom. She ripped it open and took my member in her hand firmly and slipped it on with the other hand while kissing my neck. Suddenly though, I felt incredibly sensitive and I came before the condom was fully on. She seemed really surprised. So was I. And we had this moment of shock. I apologized and she seemed understanding. You should have just been like, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just the sexiest condom that's ever been put on me. Sorry. That condom just felt so fucking good. What kind of condom is that? Fucking suede? Did you get a velvet condom? that shit felt so good. Told me it was okay and we could try again sometime. We fell asleep on the couch and she woke up and said goodbye and left. I texted her yesterday, but she hasn't responded and I think I blew it and I've honestly been in a depressed spiral. I had one shot with the woman of my dreams and I blew it. Yeah, you did. You blew it. You blew it. I feel like such a loser. Oh, I mean, it happens. You know, yeah, matey. she was probably pretty disappointed because I bet she wanted to fuck, but it's a compliment. You know, you should be like, listen, I fucking, I gotta be honest. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> don't, don't say that. She'd be like, listen, I, I gotta be honest. I've been, I've been, I've been wanting this to happen for a long time. So I got a little bit too excited. The second time I'm going to wait till the condoms all the way on and then I'm going to bust. And then the third time, one or two pumps in. And then the fourth time, let's just keep it going. Build up the tolerance, you know? That's what it's about. In the future, this doesn't have to end the session. Just wipe yourself off and maybe see if there's anything else you can do for her. Oral massage, etc. Or an oral massage. Lick the crevices of her back. Uh, uh, uh. Get in there with the tongue. Get ready for round two. What are you teaching sex ed now? If you ejaculate too early, you can always try cunnilingus. Listen, she's gonna hit you back. She'll probably hit you back. Jesus, bro, eat her out until you get hard again. This is pure amateur hour. No wonder she's ghosted you. Yeah, man, a little tough love. Listen, this is a tough, I'm, I'm sure he was probably fucking so embarrassed. I feel like if this were to happen to you, you'd be so flustered and embarrassed. You wouldn't even think, you'd just be like, ah, oh, it would just completely take you out of it. Yeah, granted, it shouldn't. You should be confident enough just to be like, oh, fuck, my bad, that was embarrassing. Let me eat you out. But I'm sure in that moment, he was. Was like, oh, I fucking ruined the, the, the only shot I had with the girl of my dreams. And she's like, okay, bye. You know, it's like, Jesus, what is this, amateur hour? Freaking eat her out until you get hard again, dude. So you can bust properly. I personally am a sex pro. I'm a professional sex haver myself. And personally, what I would do is eat her out until I can get freaking stiff again in my penis. Wow, these ones are so fun. I love, I love doing these videos. I ate a whole family size cake in the parking lot. Yeah, fucking awesome. I was eight months pregnant and I had this insane craving for chocolate cake, so I went to buy one. As soon as I got in the car, I knew I couldn't wait to get home. I got the cake and sat in the back seat so no one would see me. There I sat eating an entire family-sized chocolate cake with my hand. I don't know what came over me. This was almost a year ago and I haven't told another soul. Thank you, that is all. You're fucking, you can do anything when you're pregnant, except drink and smoke. <laughs> Don't do that. But anything else, free reign. No one's gonna judge you. Absolutely not. I do this sometimes. I'm not pregnant, but sometimes I'll, I mean, I don't eat a whole chocolate cake, but I'll like, you know, it's like a burrito or something. Like literally, you know, I'll be eight minutes away from home. Eight minutes and I'm like, I'm too hungry. I can't wait. I cannot wait. And I'll just sit in my car and eat it and then drive home and then hate myself. Cause I'm like, why couldn't I have just waited and eaten at the table? Like, you know, someone who has their shit together. Sometimes when I shower, I like to turn the water a bit cold, sit down and pretend I'm a frog in the rain. That's awesome. Fuck, that's almost goblin level of awesome. Well, how do you <laughs> that was my attempt at a frog ribbit. <laughs> Any of those work? No? So you just sit, you're just squatting. Oh, horrible fiddler. No! So you're squatting, you're in the shower, just like this. 
not in character. See, this is my problem. This is why you don't get rolls. Because you're not having the thoughts that a frog would have. He would have tongued that fucking fly. <sighs> Horrible fit alert, by the way. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I had a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to do that again. That was awesome. To that, I say, reread. Frog sound. Reread. <sighs> Yarr, matey. Hit thy like. Hit the like button. Let's go, give it to you.